More than 70 veterans from across the Tulsa area are back in town after the trip of a lifetime. In a story you'll see only on Fox 23. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is reporting live for us from Tulsa International after joining those veterans on their honor flight, Rick. Clay, it was a hero's welcome here at TIA, not only when they got on the plane, but also when they got off. Patriots bound for our nation's capital turned pictures into reality Wednesday. Many of them have never seen the monuments and memorials dedicated to their sacrifices. They paid their respects to their fallen comrades in arms at Arlington National Cemetery, and then it was on to the National Mall, where America remembers its greatest. It really is meaningful if you have someone that you're looking for. Don Bue served in Vietnam and Korea and says the trip puts everything into perspective. They gave up their life for our freedom. I think the thing that bothers me, not this, but how so many people are enjoying their freedom, but they're not willing to do anything. Out of the 70 veterans, 11 are considered to be a part of the greatest generation. It's always just been a name, but you see guys like this, it's that I consider the veterans. Um, it's amazing. Hey, thank you for serving, Charles. Darren McElhaney, an Air Force veteran, pushed his grandfather, Charles Armstrong, a World War II vet, to the National Mall in a wheelchair. You know, I'm an old man. This makes you want to cry, really. I, it just does something for you. Receiving a hero's welcome, they stopped and stared as the memories came back. And it was Darren who got a closer look at what his grandfather saw firsthand. I can see him watch shows and news reports. And he's not a real emotional guy, and none of us really are, but you can tell by just the look on his face, this is, this is some closure. And the next honor flight is already in the works for the spring. However, they are asking for public donations. This is a free thing for veterans, and they are a nonprofit charitable organization that needs public funds to continue to charter future flights. Reporting live at Tulsa International Airport, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.